everyone uh, sit here uh, welcome again to another greasy day today we have this uh, frame master electric fryer it's uh, four banks with the filtration system uh, this morning I brought it here to so I can start to cleaning it and uh, you know to trying to fix if uh, there's anything to fix and they saw that the drain doesn't doesn't drain even if uh, I open the valve and they try to use uh, one of these uh, cleaning rods you know that goes in the drain but you know I can feel that uh, the drain is clogged so I was uh, thinking you know it's just a little grease but it's really not and uh, one of the common big mistakes uh, while uh, filtering is people you know sometimes when they just uh, drain the, the 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 oil like this uh, when they open the, the valve and uh, why when the the there's no oil anymore in the pot they just close simply the the drain like this and it's wrong uh, because uh, if you do this all the time uh, while you filtering you need to correct it uh, believe me you need to correct it uh, i'm going to show you the what's hap what happens to to this fryer always when you are filtering you need to leave the drain open like this while you start to to filter at least for one minute to two minutes because there is always debris in the in the drain uh, spouts or pipes like this and uh, especially for a big one like this that's you know has to drain all the way to the left so uh, stuff starts to build up here badly uh, and uh, if you can see one of the sleeves is broke and you see the clamp the clamp is, is just holding a little bit and you can see the grease coming out of here so we will have to 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 take the the, the drain uh, uh, parts and uh, I, will, I will show you what it looks like for that reason we will have to to take the to, to open the, the clamps and uh, take these little bolts to to take the, the supports off from the the fryer and uh, we'll see how it goes i'm sorry i don't have anyone to to hold the camera so i will do it uh, just myself once i'm i'm taking this uh, uh, when you take this uh, the bolt like this you just bring something uh, but you have to push in the 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 pipe in the in the valve here because I think it, it, it's coming out but for this fryer it will be hard but we will see uh, once you take the, the, the clamps off as you can see uh, usually I use some WD-40 and uh, you know to lubricate the, the thing and uh, take it like a screwdriver a flat screwdriver and nicely don't uh, miss your sleeve and try because uh, usually it sticks to to the pipe so and go around it like this because if you don't usually it's hard to it sticks so you don't want to mess it up so do it as flat as possible like this and go all around it like this so you will be able to to slide it to slide it just if you can To be able to, to take this uh, uh, support off of this uh, little rod or the bolt or where the, the bolt goes, uh, usually I put some WD-40, spray it here, 
uh, the delay take a little rubber hammer and I, I do like this a few times so we'll go in the, in the drain and it will be easy to come off as you can see the wall starts to drip and the mess is uh, it's very messy so I have to to put the camera down and to try to get this out as you can see the the valves are clogged in all of them look at this look look this is what happens when you when you filter while you filter and uh, when you just uh, drain your oil and uh, you don't let the the valve open while you are filtering for at least one minute or 90 seconds up to two minutes it will not hurt it this is the result and uh, you know the debris starts to build up like this you see and uh, it gets worse and worse until you cannot uh, drain your oil anymore then uh, that will be a big mess to fix look at this this is no good but uh, we will try to clean it as uh, much as possible we will uh, boil the everything we will clean everything as we do all the time uh, before we send the, the fryers to any customer uh, and uh, we will see how about this uh, I already cleaned the one fryer like this and uh, and uh, I reconditioned the the spouts or the the, and the sleeves the clamps are, are very good look at these ones that belongs to this fryer they need some cleaning too and that's uh, what we will do in this job thank you very much for watching uh, please uh, uh, consider subscribing to our channel to support us uh, if you haven't, we do appreciate it and stay greasy. You have a nice day.